the new power. The audience's admiration was reflected in their breath that was briefly held followed by swift action to take the camera. When China's latest J-20 stealth fighter jet roared across the sky of Zhuhai, the south of the country, four of China's cutting-edge stealth fighter jets fly in unison in perfect formation, with deafening engine noise. It was a show of flashy air that seemed deliberately designed to attract attention. These jets, which were previously shrouded in secrecy, are now being displayed for the Chinese and world public to see. They were arguably the main stars at the National Airshow China being held in Zhuhai in southern China this week, according to a Miltak project report. This event is an exhibition for all of the Bamboo Curtain Country aviation fleet, from the more basic to the combat-ready. As well as exhibitors from across the industry, there were displays from China's aerobatics team, high-tech drone demonstrations, and a flyby of the country's first domestically built passenger jet. The show is a highly militaristic event, given that it is being held at a time when the world was increasingly fearful of what the Chinese military could do. Among the crowd present was Yu Gang, a retired colonel who served for more than 20 years in the Chinese armed forces. He encapsulates the sentiments of many people here, one of them being pride in how his country's military has developed and their belief in what can be achieved with that force. China is showing the world that it is a very strong country, he said. It means we can not only defend our national territory, but also defend our national interests outside our country because China's national interests extend to the outside world. Sky News reported that many also feared that interests, including China, could potentially try to take over Taiwan, the self-governing island it considers its own. Doing so is President Xi Jinping's longtime dream. British Trade Minister Greg Hands is one to highlight this this week during his visit to Taiwan. He is the first British minister to make the visit since the pandemic. He said he used the opportunity to emphasize trade issues, However, for Beijing, any foreign visit that hints at Taiwan's autonomy is seen as highly provocative, and it seems that the British move was immediately responded to by Beijing. China sent more fighter jets to Taiwan than at any time since the summer. 31 crossing the central line, the unofficial maritime border. China-Taiwan tensions are currently the highest for some time. The jet fleet used in this flight is on display in Zhuhai, a rare chance to see them up close, getting permission to do so, might as well hold a message in itself. Whether China would actually mount such an invasion is uncertain, but there are plenty of hints at the military airshow judging by its readiness. The military show also featured a next-generation amphibious vehicle with a simulation of how an invasion of an unnamed mountainous island might be carried out. According to Sky News correspondent Helen Ann Smith, the message China is trying to convey is clear. They are a modernized and transformed military capable of fighting on an international level if necessary.